Growing up, I have so many great memories of playing football in the cages, just people coming together from different communities. Well, I started when I was three years old. There's like no skate parks, no facilities to use, so I grew up skating in a car park. Now it's just way more inclusive. Community also coming together to raise money to build skate parks. And I think the power of social media as well mm, is huge. really important for that, like seeing videos of people at a skate mm -hmm. park. It, you want to get out there similar to football. You see a player doing skills and you're like, I want to be able mm -hmm. to try that. So being in an environment where you can go out there, try things and make mistakes too. So when did it become your thing to do up skate parks? My local skate park down the road from me, everyone was like, oh, you need to like clean it up, you need to restore it. And then I was like, that's what I'm going to do. Doing mm -hmm. those projects, I think, is so great that you capture content of the before and after and mm -hmm. seeing the change that you are making. You don't have to be a big group of people to make a change. You can also do it yourself. And that's, that's basically it. This is all I need. I need with my phone and I'm good. Community for me is everything. To see how the game's grown from when I was a kid, I still feel that little girl that was in the cages mm -hmm. enjoying herself with a dream to play for England and to be part of Lionesses. It still feels the same to me, but now we're using our voice to make change within society, I think is really important. We can both agree, like, without the community, both sports wouldn't be where they are today and why it needs to keep growing.